major developments right now with China, Qatar, Russia, Europe, and of course the United States, I'm going to highlight what has been happening. It's extremely important that we know this information. The very first thing that needs to be covered is that China's CNPC to seal a mega Qatari LNG deal. This is talking about liquefied natural gas coming from Qatar to China. This is what they call a mega deal. And let me tell you, it certainly is. This is going to be similar to Sinopec's 27 year deal. They're pulling more and more gas from Qatar. They have an integrated partnership. That's what they call it. China contracts add to Qatar's deals with Western majors. And that's what I need to explain to you. Let's break it down right now. Qatar recently signed a long-term contract with China for LNG and are also committing to strategic partnerships. Plus, they've stated their desire to provide LNG to Europe as well. So what does this all mean? Well, first of all, it's a big deal for Qatar. China is the world's largest importer of LNG, so securing a long-term market for their natural gas is a big win for Qatar. Plus, it'll give them a stable source of revenue, which is always a good thing. But there's also some geopolitical implications to consider. Qatar has traditionally been aligned with the West, so this move towards the East, particularly towards China, could be seen as a shift in their foreign policy. It could also be seen as a response to the ongoing geopolitical tensions in the region, including the blockade that's been imposed on Qatar by several Arab states since 2017. From an energy perspective, there are also some factors to consider. Qatar has a lot of natural gas reserves, but they'll need to invest in expanding their liquefaction capacity and developing new infrastructure to transport the gas to both China and Europe. They'll need to balance the demands of multiple markets, which could be a challenge. Speaking of Europe, this move could have some geopolitical implications there too. Europe is currently heavily dependent on Russia for its natural gas, which has been a source of tensions in the past. So if Qatar is able to provide an alternative source of natural gas, it could help reduce Europe's dependence on Russia and provide more geopolitical options for European policymakers. Of course, there are also some potential risks. The geopolitical tensions in the region could impact Qatar's ability to deliver on these plans, especially if there's further instability or conflict. The availability of supply and the ability to meet the demands of multiple markets could be a challenge for Qatar as well. So if we see what's happening, it looks like it's gonna be an interesting future. I know the font is small, but I just want to show you directly from the source, Qatar Energy and Sinopec sign a 27 year, 4 million tons per annum LNG supply agreement to China. This comes just from the source. I always try to give you it right from there. There are contracts, this was back in November 22. There's so much energy that's gonna come from Qatar over to China. They're buying their oil from Saudi. They're buying the gas from Qatar. They are doing business in the Middle East. Qatar UAE energy ministers say gas will be needed for a long time. And essentially trying to say that we're not going anywhere. You're going to need our resources. We want to do business and so on. And they're making friends with countries like China. There's no doubt about it. Now we move on to the next aspect here. Seven EU countries oppose radical changes to the energy market. A lot of what this article was about is simply that they want to go to renewable. They want to do this and that but they cannot do so immediately. They have to worry literally this, this imminent threat that as the stockpiles move lower and lower, they don't have a way to fill it because Russia and Europe are not exactly getting along right now. And that is something that could be resolved by taking on a new supplier. Well, they took on a new supplier in Europe with Qatar. However, that new supply doesn't come online until 2026. So they've got themselves an issue here. This is very important for the people in Europe today. Germany really heavily reliant. Just one example. I just want to give you a little look here that, you know, there's so much, much of these tensions and things are going crazy balloons and all kinds of stuff's happening derailments of trains. This is the Philippine Coast Guard accuses the China Coast Guard of pointing a military grade laser at one of its vessels. 
And this is coming in an area, you know, the South China Sea is one of those places, very contested. China says, no, 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 this is our area. And then other countries are saying, no, that's our area. And apparently this was right in that uh, region. And they're trying to basically blind them saying, hey, you came into our area. So we're using this sort of non-lethal way to tell you to get out of here. U.S. warns it will defend Philippines after China lays a report. And that's where we get into it because the U.S. is standing by Taiwan. They're standing by the Philippines and they're essentially posturing in a sense to, um, you know, get away from, uh, you know, against China. Let's just say that. That's really uh, what I wanted to highlight here and just bring to you the basics of what's happening right now with China, their energy demands, how reliant they had been um, you know, on the United States for certain things, on the West for certain things, and now that's flipping, now that's changing, and so we must, must pay attention. I hope this was informative to you. I want to keep it as short as possible. If you found it informative, these type of videos, let me know in the comments below. And as always, you've got to come back each and every day. You could probably got to search if they don't come up in your home feed. Do a search for The Money GPS. I'm bringing you great information each and every day. Take care.